Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. As you can already see, I'm a mess, but I'm trying my best to get back on track with my videos. I'm sorry that it's taken so long. I've been through a lot the past few weeks. It's going to take me a while to get back on track. So all I'm asking you guys for is a little bit of patience, and let's get into today's video. Since this is the first real video that I've done since I had the seizures, I wanted it to be about Demi. I forgot to mention this is the second part in my new series, Old News. In today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Demi's former friendships and how I think each one of them ended. I'm going to start this video with a disclaimer. I'm not like associated with Demi personally and I really don't know anything about her personal life. This is really just a conspiracy theory on how the friendships ended. I definitely don't mean to offend anyone or any company or any record label. This is just what I think as a fan of Demi. Okay, so I'm gonna have to start with a bit of backstory. Demi has lost a lot of friendships in the last few months and there's been a lot of speculation amongst the fandom as to why the friendships ended. These are my personal opinions on why they all ended. Let's begin. Okay, we're gonna start with the one and only Mike Bear, who was Demi's sober companion and business partner and life coach. Demi and Mike are no longer friends and this is why I think their friendship ended. Demi made a documentary last year talking about her struggles and one of her biggest struggles that she talks about in the documentary is her eating disorder. And as a person with a mental illness who goes through similar things as Demi, I can imagine that she gets very easily triggered by little things. As do I, and that's completely understandable. And I'm not coming for Mike, but you think of all people, a life coach would understand that. But apparently, no. Earlier in the year, Mike started a crash diet, and he posted about it all over Instagram, where Demi could see it. Demi unfollowed him on Instagram soon after he started the diet. I think that possibly triggered her, and Mike obviously knew that I would because he's been working with Demi for so long and Mike should understand that he's a life coach so I think that was a little bit inconsiderate on his part and I understand why she ended that friendship. There's another part of this but it might be getting a little bit too into like legal stuff. Demi broke her sobriety in April I think it was and Mike allegedly had a contract with Demi saying that if she broke her sobriety that she couldn't be a part of cast centres anymore. Now, I don't know how that makes sense in the mind of a mental health expert like Mike or a life coach, but to me personally, as like a human being who has mental health issues, that would be a lot of pressure. So she's no longer part of cast centres at Mike. I know how much that meant to Demi and for Mike just to take that away from her because she had a little bit of a slip up was not cool. It kind of goes without saying but I'm kind of glad that that friendship is over. Demi needs real supportive friends that will support her through anything and Matthew and Saira are always going to be there for her no matter what. And Iggy. Shout out to the real ones. Moving on to the next one. Let's talk about Marissa. I know that so many of the are watching this right now, just like rolling their eyes because they know what's coming. Marissa is a using bitch. Sorry, not sorry. First of all, Marissa is the reason that Demi got into drugs and alcohol in the first place. And then when Demi got clean, I think Marissa just stood by her because she saw that she was doing well and making money and that she could use her to get like money and other stuff like that. Marissa's a bitch, end of story. Marissa also posted a lot of stuff on Facebook about Demi and it was purely to get a reaction from the Levatics. And so that was the end of that friendship. Next, I'm going to talk about Nick Jonas. Now, this one is a little bit complicated just because I think there was feelings involved. If you're a fan of Demi's, then you already know she wrote a song about Nick Jonas. It's called Ruin the Friendship. 
So what I think happened with Nick was Demi had really strong feelings for him and I don't think he felt the same way. Or maybe he did and maybe they tried it out and it just didn't work. But I honestly think that Demi was like head over heels in love with Nick and maybe he liked her back but not as much. Which I honestly can't understand because look at her. Like, oh, I'm not defending Nick at all. I literally don't even like him anymore after everything that's after happening. I think when Demi broke her sobriety, maybe he wanted to like help her by not helping her. I don't know. But all I'm saying is maybe he didn't want to enable her. That's it for Nick. Let's move on to the big one. Philly she say. Okay, Phil McIntyre, Demi's manager, or former manager. I'm not here to talk bad about Phil, but at the same time, he was a very bad manager. Let's talk about why their friendship ended. For those of you that don't understand what a safe contract is, I'm going to try to explain it. I'm not saying that's true, but I'm just saying. And that's it for today's video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week and goodbye. I need you to know that you saved my life with your love. Oh.